Hey guys, what's up? It's the FIFA Advantage, and right now you're watching episode 4 of the FIFA Agent. In the last episode, Steve was just coming off a broken ankle which put him out for 3 months. He couldn't play for 3 months! His team was kind of messing up too. They are current. The LA Galaxy is currently in 3rd place of the Western Conference of the MLS. They've played 14 games, they're just not doing very well. Even being out for nine games straight, Steve is still in, in the top 20 goal scorers in the league. He scored only he scored four goals, and I guarantee you that number is going to change. He's going to step up his game. We've been having a lot of talks lately. I've been telling him, I've been telling Steve, I'm like, Steve, man, you got to step it up. I know you're still hurting from your broken ankle, but you got to score more goals. You want to be into the, the Premier League? You want to be in the BPL, man? You gotta start scoring, scoring some goals. Show those, show those BPL coaches what you're all about. And in the early in this game, man, he we scored a pretty easy goal, just to go up by one. The RSL Real Salt Lake, they're just not. I don't know if they're very good or not. But Steve had not very much of a break after that last game, and his fitness was quite low even at the beginning of the game. And he know it, knew it. And I knew it, so I told him I was just like, Steve, you need to you need to relax a little bit during this game. Just make a few passes, get your passing stats up, maybe just run around a lot, get your stamina up too, man. Just you don't need to sprint around everywhere. Just just get your stamina up, man. You you're doing fine. And you don't need to score many goals right now, but after these games, once you get your stamina back up and your fitness levels are high again, you're gonna need to start scoring some goals. And he he complied. He knew he knew what he had to do. And in this goal, this game, he really did. He just made some sweet passes. He he made some very very key passes actually. But at halftime, we were up two zip, just rolling along, rolling right through Salt Lake City, just showing them what the LA Galaxy can do and what we're made of. But literally, right after the kickoff, Steve picked up the ball right outside the box, made a sweet pass in, and the guy just couldn't finish it. He had an easy tap, just tap it around the goalie. And right here, just in the middle of the second half, he had a sick through ball right to one of his teammates who couldn't finish again. And watch right here. I was super proud of Steve for what he did here. He walked over to him and he was like, dude, man, come on, bro, you got to finish these if you want to win the game. Come on, guys. We we got to finish these goals. We have to make stuff happen, and we can't be not putting these in the back of the net. We have to do it to win. And I was proud of him, and I told him that after the game. But after that pass, he got pulled. He was just getting tired. He told the coach. I was standing on the sideline. I told the coach. I was like, you got to get him out of there. But after that game, look at his passing stats. 94% all but one pass were completed. Jeez, Steve. Really picking up his passing game. He really listened to me. He took my advice in that last one. Just got his passing stats up. It's what you need. And then this next game against the Whitecaps, they sat me, which was asked by Steve. I, I told him, I was like, all right, Steve, you should probably sit a game. But I don't know if you want to. You can play, but you should probably not. And he listened to me, and he asked the coach if he could sit, which was probably his best bet. And in that game, the LA Galaxy tied. They couldn't do it without Steve. They couldn't win the game, which kind of pissed him off. He Steve, after that game, he came to me and he said, you know, I don't know about this team anymore. They haven't been very successful without me on the field. They can't, they can't win many games without me out there. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but I think I'm better than this. I think I'm ready to move on to the next level. I don't know yet, but I think I'm good enough. I think I'm getting there at least. Maybe just a few more games with the LA Galaxy, and then I'll be ready to, to switch leagues, maybe to a better team that can win without me. I'm not sure yet. But if you guys want to put in this description below which team you think Steve would fit best in next, I'll try and get I'll try and be a good agent and get him on a team that will fit his needs better. And right here, San Jose earned a penalty kick. Juan Dalowski stepped up to the line and finished it quite easily. My keeper didn't even make an attempt to save it. Like, what an idiot. But just a few minutes later, McGee picked up the ball, dribbled right around the defender, and finished pretty pretty easily. 
And right here, Steve just finished with a sweet goal, and they call him offsides. Watch this right here. How are you going to call Steve Aoki offsides? I thought I thought that was perfect. I was upset with the ref. I didn't. I wasn't mad at Steve Aoki. And again, called offsides. This one might have been more Steve's fault than the refs, but still, come on, man. Come on, Steve. You're good. You're good. I'm not mad at you. But right here, we own. We earned a, a penalty kick, and I was hoping that they might put Steve to the line just just to let him prove himself that he can he can do it for the squad. He can finish these penalty kicks, and they didn't. They put Buttle to the line. What do you think Buttle's going to do? Just kick it right at the goalie. Come on, Buttle. How do you expect that to go in? A freaking chip shot from the line? Whatever. So they, now they know. Now they know that they got to put Steve to the line. We ended up losing that game 2-1. to one. They scored at the end. But, I don't know. Steve was upset, and he really wanted to change teams after this game. He came to me, and he said, All right, agent. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to change teams. He ended up just, he didn't have a very good game right there. 6.5. His teammates didn't help him out. They didn't do anything for him. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And have a great day. Peace out.